what's coming. I mean, certainly, again, we think the trend towards um, closing the the loop um, in producers and consumers is something that you will continue to see. People's interest in food has changed and continues to change radically. And people are beginning to think more critically about where the things we eat come from, not celebrating the chef or the restaurant, but this larger global trend of people caring very deeply about where their food comes from. Farmers markets, as they have grown basically year over year for the last two decades, is something that you will continue to see. Restaurants serving formal food in a less formal environment is something that you will continue to see. We will see more women and minorities have a seat at the table, and they may uh, need to demand that seat at some stages, but this does feel like the moment in which talent and diversity can't be ignored, which in the context of food makes for a really exciting future. I think the real opportunity is in deepening the connection that you have with the people who come to your restaurant and who support your business. In the same way that people want to know more about where their food comes from, we want to know more about who's preparing that food and what their own personal stories are. Food should not be underestimated. Food is very radical in its potential that it can't be divorced from politics, it can't be divorced from our history. And conversely, we have an ability to organize people and ideas and community around food that can radically change and impact the world.